Hello everyone, my name is Leia and welcome to the Control Art Modeling series. In this video, we are going to make sure that you and I have both the same Maya layouts, we will import the references for the character and I'll give you a short run on how to navigate from Maya's view panels. So let's begin. This is the user face that comes with Workspace, specifically Maya Classic. Now, I would like us to enable two features that I think that they are very important for us for modeling. Let's go first and click on Windows. Then let's select the Outliner. The Outliner is great for us to see how many objects we have in a scene. And let's move it to the left side. Now let's go under the Displays, Heads Up Displays and select Poly Count. The left column tells us how many components, specifically quads and triangles, are in the entire scene. The middle one, how many there are on selected object, and the right one tells us how many of them are in the selection that we make in edit mode. As you can see, the number changes every time I change the selection. The outliner is great because it allows us to see how many objects there are in the scene, especially if the scene is really big, and also because it allows us to rename the objects that they are in the scene. But for this particular exercise, we don't really need these objects, so we can just delete them out. We have to create Maya project. To do that, let's go to the file and select project window. Project window creates Maya workspace for us at the location that we select. In project window, we will first put the name of our new Maya workspace in the current project tab by clicking on new. We will specify where exactly we want it to be created and then, when it's created, we will place our reference images into the source images map. So let's click on new and let's name our project. You can name it however you would like, that's completely up to you. And now let's also select the location of where this Maya workspace is going to be created. I'll create it on my own drive and I'll just place it here. When you're, when you're satisfied with the location, just press select and then accept. In our lessons, we are going to use the boy and we have the side view and the front view. The images will also be available for the download, so you can find the link in the description. Or you can also just take screenshots from this video in particular. So click on the images and copy them by pressing Ctrl C. Let's go into the, our Maya workspace and paste them into the source images map. And then we can just go and switch to back to Maya. Now that we are back in Maya, we need to put our references into the Maya file. So go to create and select free image plane. Now we've just created an empty image plane into which we'll put our reference. Let's select tool settings where we can see additional attributes of the image plane that we've created. Under the tab Image Name, you can see on the right side there is a map icon. Let's click on it and it will automatically direct us to the Source Images map. Now let's select the front one and click Open. OK, now let's move it a little bit to the side. And now you are going to repeat the process again. So let's go on to Create Free Image Plane. And let's click on the map, map icon and select the side view. Now we have to rotate this uh, image plane. We can do this by typing uh, 90 degrees into the channel box or just hold J and left click. This way the image will rotate with a snap of 15 degrees. Or you can just type in 90 degrees into the rotate Y channel. And let's move it to the side. On the left side of the Maya, you can see that we have several buttons. The top three are the most important ones and the ones that we will be using the most. These allow you to change the number of view panels. And as you can see, the first one creates only one. The second one creates four view panels and the third one creates two. If you want to quickly move between these views, what you can do is move your mouse over the one that you want to zoom in, so to speak. So move your mouse over it and quickly press space. You can quickly return back to four view panels again by, <laughs> by quickly pressing space again. Now that we have our references in the Maya scene, how do we know if 
the references that we've put in are actually facing the right way. We can do this by creating a cylinder. So let's create a cylinder and then delete half of it. You can see that in the front view, it's facing the right way. It's facing to us. But on the side view, the <laughs> references is facing the other way that it should. So let's flip the references for 180 degrees. And now we can just delete out the, the, uh, the cylinder. We don't really need it anymore. Now let's grab both of the references and we will place them into the new layer. Double click on the layer to edit it and let's name it references and you can pick whatever color you would like. Personally, I really like the violet one. The V basically toggles on and off the visibility of the objects within the layer. P basically means whether if the objects will be seen in the play blast, but we are not gonna use play blast in this lesson at all. And the T basically means that we see our object in wireframe and R means that the layer is locked. But before locking our references, let's select both of them and drag them a little bit up so the boy's feet will be touching the grid. And now we can just lock the layer. Let's save our scene. So go under the file, select scene as, and as you can see, it automatically puts us into the scene folder of our Maya workspace. And now we can name the file and press save as. So this is it. We've created new Maya workspace. We placed references into the Maya file. We placed these references as well into the new layer. We log them, we prepare them for the modeling and we save the file. So I will see you in the next video where the modeling will start proper. I wish you all happy modeling.